What's going on, everyone? Chris Beans here with Bowlers Rant, bringing you one new update from Radical Bowling. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and turn on those notifications. Okay, I had to make a special video just for this ball from Radical because it is a little near and dear to my heart. Let's take a look at it now. Behold the Katana Assault. I knew there was another sword ball from the Radical line in the works, and of course I was sworn to secrecy, so I didn't tell anyone like usual, because I don't really like spoiling, you know, the beans anymore. See what I did there? But this ball has something very, very special about it, and we're going to talk all about it. I've got the information straight from the manufacturer over to the website. Beans, what's going on? Let's first start out. What is up with this ball? So there's a little bit of old and a little bit of new. First of all, if you remember, here is the Katana core, but this in, in this time it's the Katana Assault core. Okay, I don't want to get things mixed up, otherwise I might get murdered. Um, and it looks really, really interesting. Okay, so it looks like we might have a flip puck at the very end of this ball, right? Um, and I don't know if the dimensions have changed just a little bit, but the numbers are just a little bit different than the previous Katana core. So. Over to the interweb sheets, let's talk about it. So this ball has the HK22 Hyperkinetic Pearl cover stock. Okay, so this is the first time we've seen HK22 with a radical ball. And that's very, very big deal because they've also added a whole bunch of projection additives and blah, 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 all the chemical stuff they talk about in the email. All right, Pearl Reactive Core, the color smoke black and blue. Not going to you know be upset about that. And the numbers at 15 pounds to 501 RG with an 051 differential and a 0 0.020 asymmetric differential. And notably the finished 500, 1, 500 C air micropad with crown factory compound has dynamic core. Okay. For those of you who don't remember 12% more hitting power. Uh, this is the coefficient of restitution stuff. And what that means is more pin carry. So now that we're done with all that, what is this thing all about? Basically, this is your quintessential skid flip ball it's a monster it's a big monster and radical looks like they pulled out all the stops for this ball okay so you've got dynamic core you've got i think what this is you know I, some phil's gonna have to talk about this because i don't know but when i look at this core i see this yellow part of the ball and i'm guessing this is some kind of a flip block um now these numbers 2501 051 020 a little different than the original and then the legend, the, uh, I have the legend, uh, here. Okay. So I'm sorry. Here's the original, right? The original is two, five, Oh, three, Oh, five, Oh, Oh, two, Oh. Okay. And then there was, then we had the legend. Um, there's, I mean, I th think there's a few other ones out there, but I just pulled out this one in the, and for the, uh, original for the sake of difference, two, five, Oh, three, Oh, five, Oh, Oh, two, Oh. And I don't see that flip block there, nor do I see dynamic core, right? So there's some differences. Now, when you look at this two, five, Oh, one, instead of 2503, 051020. So a little different and it's just, I think some core dynamic stuff. But what I expect this to be is for those of you who like to stand left, throw right, this is gonna be your ball. This is absolutely gonna be in your ball. Sports shot, house shot, any shot, pick your F and favorite shot and you are off into the races. This is gonna be the one from the Brands of Brunswick if you want skid flip monster, okay? This is going to be the kind of ball that's going to compete in the realms with like your altered realities, your exotic gems. But on the Brunswick side, this is going to be the one to really watch out for. Um, and, you know, if, if this thing even goes on the tour and people start winning with it, I expect it to just people start buying the shit left and right. The original Katana was amazing. The Katana Legend was amazing. This one looks amazing as well. Of course, now back to the shelf appeal side. I got to tell you, hands down, this is like a 9.5 out of 10 for me on shelf appeal. The colors are right. The logo is right. The two Japanese swords, and you even have, you know, Japanese lettering at the top. I'm guessing that means katana or assault. Someone can fact check me because I can't read Japanese, and I don't need to. This thing looks badass, hands down. And for those of you who are like me who appreciate uh, unique stuff, this is going to be one to keep an eye on as a dark horse for 2023. All right, universal release date will be in the video description. Of course, if you want to learn more about this ball and where you can pick it up, I've got a link in the description where you can find this on bullismart.com. Always good information here on Bullish Rant. So what do you think of the Katana Assault? If you were to get one, would you make any surface adjustments? And what layout would you go with? Drop me a comment. Let me know. Let's continue the conversation. More updates are coming. And until then, well, well.